this video demonstration is up close I want to show you that I sell these break these spring braking systems and the spacers we're gonna take the spacer apart and put this one on as the bumper spacer that's for your trolleys on your zip lines to hit up against uh, this one will give you a close-up view of how this spring spacer goes together you're going to want to just loosen the screws maybe uh, three quarters of an inch out about like that then you're going to separate them I recommend a Torx driver uh, power driver cordless with an extra battery if you're going out um, depend on how many zip lines you have you're going to want to uh, separate it just like this the, each one of these spacers are identical but they uh, reverse to mate together and you have the little notch here for the spring hook you'll notice that as i uh, slide this on this spring hook will uh, nest right inside there and give you enough room that you will be able to just uh, slide this one on for your bumper and just like that then you're going to just tighten it up and you have your spring system um, you're going to this spring system when it uh, collapses uh, you want to make sure as you inspect your zip line you want to make sure the screws are all in and flush just drive them up nice and flush you're going to want to inspect them daily like with this one it looks like there's a screw missing i will grab another screw it's always a good idea if you're going out inspecting to make sure that you have enough screws um, just in case your zip line uh, has gone unnoticed and a screw has been missing. You're gonna just wanna uh, inspect the uh, springs and spacers. Just make sure that all uh, the screws are in there. And it's pretty simple inspection. They should record that they've inspected every day. It's a good recommendation. I work with attorneys that whenever there's an accident, we. Uh, go out and investigate if somebody hasn't uh, done all their uh, inspections and they've got a failure somewhere that's usually a sign of negligence so keep that in mind when you um, are buying a spring system or uh, anything that you've uh, put somebody's life in and you're in charge of their life out there on this zip line so keep that in mind and uh, now we're going to demonstrate how this spring system works and how it'll slow down a 150 pound rider and above. That was 120 pounds traveling 11 miles an hour.